So I, uh, <clears throat> driving for many, many, many hours. It's like a 16 hour drive. So my mom and I stopped at some kind of like antique mall. People sell the little things at booths. And I'm sure many of you have been to places such as these, and I used to love hunting them. But it's very, very difficult to find things to flip because everyone's looking up things. Um, but you get to learn things about antiques or rare items. But typ typically you're just finding garbage that will sit there for years and years and years. Um, it, it's still fun looking around. I mean, most of my entire household of knickknacks, not just toys, is from garage sailing antique shops. That's why I have just an eclectic taste of unique items. And where better to find unique items than at places where things go to die? Or uh, just garage sales. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And who would not want this in their house? <laughs> this in their house. Um, I do enjoy and have several pieces of like handmade uh, like carved items either outside as decoration pieces oh my gosh five bucks run on caffeine these are made. special disclaimer I know a lot of you watching this video have antique booths yourself so there's no disrespect I do find good things but it's a needle in a haystack it's just fun to look around. Again, every single video game you normally find at uh, an antique place or Goodwill or what have you, they're always sports games. <laughs> they're always, always sports games. But, you know, you never know. You can find a little baggie of vintage 1980s muscle men. But typically they're hot toys. Uh, they're McDonald's toys. I have found treasures, but you gotta go to like a thousand of them to find them. Mainly I like this kind of stuff, gifts, what have you. So, short disclaimer, I'm going to keep looking around. I spoke too soon, but my professional glass is off. I found cool stuff. Steve Urkel, I'm going to do it. Didn't I do that? I have to. Um, <clears throat> little Final Fantasy, what was this, 11, I believe? can't remember her name, but she was an awesome character, and these were Coca-Cola promotions. I think only in Japan. I could be wrong, but I want to add them to my knickknacks. And then this little, like, 3D alien coin purse. No idea what it is. Looks Japanese. Five bucks. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, or I'll just give it to my daughter for uh, a present. So, finding some treasures. And who wouldn't want this? me for one or the goosebumps beyond my generation but that's gonna be popular someday killing some time at an antique mall called reflections somewhere I think we're still in Arkansas I don't know on my road trip this caught my eye but you always got to be careful the earthbound it's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and there was a bigger box I didn't know if they even made a smaller box I doubt it I only know about the bigger box I see $15 upon closer inspection you see that it's a reproduction so always be careful about that repro but looking around i mean luckily this booth is not just filled with starting lineup and uh, beanie babies there's actually some neat things here so i'm gonna be diving in oh little thumb wrestler knockoff ones we'll see if there's a diamond in the rough somewhere oh nice stay tuned